there are several reasons why you might not want to return a book to Audible after reading it. Number one, Audible's return policies. Audible can monitor returns for review. So if you're one of those people that read a book and then you send it back hoping to get your money back, you might not want to do that because excessive returns, frequent returns of the same title or returning multiple titles at once can cause Audible to decide that they're going to limit the number of returns or revoke return privileges at their discretion. Do not get caught up that way. It can also possibly penalize the author that wrote the book that you're deciding to return because you want to save some money. Number two, your membership status. Customers who cancel or fail, fail to maintain their membership in good standing are not eligible to make returns. So if you know you've already been wilding out a little bit on Audible, you might not want to go trying to return stuff too much. Number three, eligibility requirements. To be eligible for a return, you must be in an active Audible member in good standing and make the return within 360 65 days of the purchase date and have purchased the title with an Audible credit. Are there some reasons as an author that you've seen your book getting flagged because of Audible returns coming back, back to back? What's going on? I actually met someone who told me that they do read books and send it back because they just want to save money. And I had to let them know, like, listen, that is not what you do. All right, you are hurting the author in the long run. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think.